So this is how it went down. We filmed the call out video for the stay home film challenge in quarantine in London. And you guys commented a lot. Yeah, well, ask and you shall receive. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the 60 second video master, the one, the only, Nas Daily. Hi, my name is Nas from Nas Daily and I make videos. Today I will be judging the best five videos from the Stay Home Film Challenge by Great Big Story. Let's begin. Submissions have come from far and wide and boy did you guys get creative. We saw horror movies, action, funny comedies, animation. There were even some insane stop motion films. We couldn't be prouder. And what better judge to have than Nuz Daily? Nuz, thank you so much for joining us and agreeing to be a judge for our Stay Home Film Challenge. How are you? I'm good. I'm just stuck in my house and still making videos. And I'm happy to be participating in your challenge. So for anyone who doesn't uh, know you, um, can you just give us a bit of background on yourself? My name is Nusair. Nickname is Nas. I make one minute videos. The way I say it is Great Big Story and Nas Daily are like twins that were separated at birth. So my videos are about people and places around the world that are interesting. So of the hundreds of fantastic entries we received, Nas is gonna pick his top five. So, Naz, you ready? <laughs> Let's do it. Number five. Hello, I'm Loretta Jackson. I like the music. I've loved plants for a long, long time, long before it was popular. I long just before enjoy, it was popular. Um, plants. I think I got it from my mother and other family members. A lot of times I find plants that have been neglected, so I call myself a foster plant mother. I know the type of plants that work well in my home and I look for plants that don't need a lot of bright sunlight. I would say start with plants that are easy to take care of. There are many, many types of plants that don't require a lot of sunshine, don't require a lot of watering and are pretty foolproof. And then branch out um, and just try your hand at different plants and uh, just take care of them, show them some TLC <laughs> and you will be very happy with the results. Cute. Look, I'm a big fan of videos that have a story. I really like don't care about how good you are as a filmmaker. I don't care about your camera, your Sony, your Canon, your drone, I don't care. I care about are the words you're telling me interesting? Did you put enough effort into those words? And for me, that's what makes a good video. Yeah. I could really see this being on Great Big Story, like the way it was structured, the music, and it featured plants. So that's a win-win as well. That was number five, on to number four. Wing, wing, wing. Wing, wing, wing. Very cool. This is nine seconds, but I think a lot of people don't appreciate that this probably took nine hours to make. You know, this is very hard to make. So really good job on the effort. I mean, we have nothing else to do, right? So good job on the effort that, that this person has put in making this video. Especially trying to keep a, a child entertained for that long. I mean, like you said, nine hours, it must have. And we also have um, some behind the scenes as well. So there's a, a kind of quick video to show you know, the time-lapse of how he did it. Naz, you ready for number three? Let's do it. The place you call home contains a whole universe invisible to the naked eye. The average American household has around 7,000 distinct species of bacteria and fungi. Many people assume that these little critters mostly hang out by your toilet seat or maybe your trash can. But if you are looking for the biggest crowd of microbes, you'll actually find them in your kitchen sponge. But this microscopic ecosystem is always changing. For example, having a pet in your house transforms its microbiome completely. Although microbes can truly really move by themselves, they end up all around your house, in some places you'd never expect. But you'll be okay, probably. Right now, your home microbiome is the safest place you can be especially compared to some of the other microbes that you can come across when out in public. 
Um, nice. Cool. This is relevant. Like everybody cares about this stuff now. And it's so cool that this content is happening now. And I really enjoy the animation in this one. I mean, the way he actually masked out objects so the animation would appear from behind, also tracking it to the footage. It takes a little bit of time that, so but it really come off nicely. So how did you become the king of 60 seconds? Well, I think that is a very generous term. My attention span is very short and I realized someone should make videos that I would watch. And so I said, I'll just do it myself. My first 300 videos were terrible, but I did them every single day, no matter what. And after trying 500, 600 videos in 600 days, I became really good at telling a story in very short time. What sort of inspires you as a filmmaker? What inspires me is, is you know, look, I don't, I don't know what an aperture is to this day. I don't know what a shutter speed is. I don't know anything. And I want to remain that way. And the reason I say this is because a filmmaker, his job is not to make films. It's to tell a story. My first 150 videos, I didn't have a microphone. I didn't know I needed a microphone. And I think it's okay as long as the story is, 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 does resonate with people. How about you, Austin? What's your favorite part? I think my favorite part of filmmaking is being able to tell someone's story and doing it justice. But at the same time, being creative, trying to make that video stand out from others. Okay, I think we're ready for number two. Let's do it. Okay, first of all, I want to be this guy's friend. That's a fact, right? This guy looks so much fun. I want to be his friend. Second of all, I don't know how to make this video. I really don't know. It's, it's incredibly hard to make because I don't know how to do with these animations. So I appreciate it whenever I see it. It's very cool. It's very relevant. It's a song. I wish there was a little bit more lyrics, but wash your hands. At least that's what's going to stick in my mind. Agreed. And also the jacket. Love that jacket. Zach, please, if you want to let me borrow the jacket. And the color scheme of the animation is the same as the jacket. And so it looks like it's part of the video. Very cool. Okay, we made it. Number one. Now this is your top pick. There's a reason this is number one. This is my favorite, okay? Right, let's go. Hi, I'm just Karan Singh and I make environmental documentaries in Punjab. From last 24 days, I'm practicing self-isolation by staying home and it's hard. Boring. Especially for a guy like me whose job is to visit forests and film different stories. I thought I couldn't get any of those stories without accessing the field until I found one at my home. Due to lockdown, the pollution levels have gone down and I started witnessing some drastic improvements in the visibility. So I started documenting this temporary mitigation of pollution from my rooftop. Eventually, other filmmakers joined this movement. Some captured the newly arrived birds in their backyards. Some photographed the mountain ranges that were not visible earlier. I got a glimpse of Milky Way despite living in a polluted city. The footage we are collecting will be used for future environmental projects. And due to this lockdown, we are able to work together on something which is bigger than us. And that makes me happy. Don't let the lockdown restrict yourself. Find creative ways to deal with it and you'll be good. First of all, if you don't hire this guy, I may, okay? That's one. I don't because he has a great big story poster in his back in his wall. So you should hire him. We saw it. We saw it. <laughs> Number two. This really is one of my favorite videos. I mean, look, it's it's the words. I don't I don't give a damn about the visuals. The visuals were good, but the words, it's like he took something bad and he made it good in 60 seconds. That power to change good bad to good in 60 seconds is priceless. Yeah, it was it was a really great job and even some star time lapses, all from his rooftop. I mean, absolutely fantastic job. Congratulations. Naz, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. It's been fantastic having you on. Any final thoughts? 
This is the time to build, right? This is the time to make videos. Right now, media is more important than ever in the history of the planet it was. If you're not making media right now, you should be starting yesterday. Yeah, no, I agree. I just want to thank Naz so much for being a judge on our challenge. It's inspiring to see what you guys have created, especially being in quarantine. So congratulations. I know this was a 10 minute, over 10 minutes, but uh, do you want to sign us off? Of course. All I got to say is one line. That's one minute. See you tomorrow. <laughs>